Hello, and welcome back to some more of Europe Universalis 4, the uh, Teutonic Iron Man campaign, and the uh, we're going for the Baltic Crusader achievement, which means we need to conquer all of Russia and convert it to Catholic. That's the uh, actual achievement. Now, I have been thinking about this, and it occurs to me that Lithuania is really the problem. Nordjylland to Denmark. And draw Lordship of Novgorod, that's what would make them go away, that's... Okay, just... Let's see... Can't get to there, can't get to there, can't get to there... Do you want Lithuania dead? You do. Okay, that being the case, I think we're going here. We're gonna go and siege Lithuania instead. Because, uh, no, that's a big problem, really, aren't they? Well, shit. Okay, how like are they to peace out separately? Not very, unless I actually take something from them. Let's see how much besieging something will actually change. If I can get Lithuania at least to fuck off, that would go a ways. I suppose. Alternatively, I can always try to piece out the actual Livonians and... Uh, yep, that has fallen, that's wonderful. They're all gonna sit on that. They certainly can if they want to. What I really want is for them to spread out some and actually make that a thing. Or rather to get uh, together, I mean, rather than spread out and uh, suffer lots of attrition. Where possible. And meanwhile, um, yeah. Okay, we got our uh, passage through Russia. Now, Sweden is gonna try and uh, siege that. That is... That is perfect. That is actually fucking great. And Hungary is coming up there. Hey, Hungary. Hungary, Hungary, Hungary. Um, uh, I need you to do some sieges on Lithuania here. Thank you. Get over there instead. Don't, don't do it like that. Get over there, it's fine. We should be able to get Polotsk to fall before that's a thing. Hopefully Sweden will reinforce us once that Lithuanian force tries to come and f tries to come and fuck with us. See, giving up Nordjylland wouldn't be that big a deal if, if, mind you, if, we could at the same time ensure that, uh, you know, uh, we were already calling the pharaohs. We get our course going there, then we can give up that. We just need it as a jumping across point, obviously. E. That doesn't seem like a good thing. They're down to 42. Okay, what are you willing to... Uh, you would take Newmark, you would take Nordland. And lots of money, perhaps? Fuck you, I am giving you concessions other than gold. And war reps. Oh, you don't give a flying fuck about that, do you? Well... I wonder, is this a war that the uh, Novgorodians were all the part of? Because that might explain why it's being weird in some ways. Holy crap, I'm actually wrecking their morale here. Okay, you're there, you'll arrive on the 21st. I might be able to hold out. If, nope. But Sweden ought to be able to finish smashing them. And that should be good. In theory. Okay, 
this is actually sort of looking good. With us defeating their armies there, this is really gonna help turn things in our favor, at least for the moment. Did lose more war sport there than, you know, we actually picked up, but... And that just reset to zero? You fucking kidding me! It was like a few days, it shouldn't have been able to... That shouldn't have happened in so small a time, that's... That's just silly. We need to keep an eye on Sweden's enthusiasm, though. If it gets really low, we really have to start thinking about just... Uh, outright getting rid of... Uh, Lithuania, even if it means that we have to bribe them out with something. Anything, really. Not that much manpower. We, we are actually f a couple thousand in the hole, in theory. I want to head down to Kolm in order to support Sweden, because if that fort falls, things get... Uh, they get better for us. Like, a lot better. Like, this is a major, major uh, target, I would say. If that falls, and if we can get uh, Lithuania's enthusiasm down low enough, that will... Uh, uh, I need to fiddle with the audio settings a bit more. I think like this will be good. Little better. Not really anything I can easily bite off at this point. I think there's a fight there. Ui! Yeah. Shit. If we can get... Bottom line. Lithuania has to leave the war before Sweden. If that happens, we can win. That's... All there is to it. If we can manage that, we can manage to win. Anything else is kind of gonna start sucking for us. A great fracking deal. Meanwhile, we are gonna send the cavalry along with our guy over there to help with the looting and the sieging. Because we have a two siege guy and it would be a shame not to use him. Do we have another ward now? Well, shit, that's... That's unfortunate. Okay, I need that fort to fall. After that happens, I mean, I'm willing to give Lithuania... something. War reps. Gold. Even give up Newmark. Because being able to take all of the Livonian order is worth losing a province over elsewhere. Okay, it... It's still balances out in our favor, but it's something we actually have to... Holy crap, this attrition. Sweden, are you a fucking idiot? Or are people just attaching to me? Don't attach to me. Now everyone just wants to sit on this. Wonderful. Um, we should be able to take that before anything else falls, unless we're actually knocked off of it. Fucking retard, Sweden. Good thing I had my guy on here. Okay, we'll siege it ourselves then. You can fuck off if you want, that's fine. We'll manage. One fort. If we get one fort out of this, we should be okay. Or rather, if we siege down one fort, it should, I think, be just about enough. Sweden, stop derping around. Either kill armies. Or just chill. Okay, just all of you, just stop being idiots. Okay? They're not listening. Of course, they're not fucking listening. And I really don't need to improve with you anymore. So that's okay. That's quite alright. And I don't have the money to... Act. Okay, who the f... Norwegian separatists. Right, those fuckers. Start the coring. 
spend the points on that we have to fall no excuses right now fuck bloody disease outbreak bullshit what came under the occupation that that should not stay a problem for very long and you go and uh, smash that Livonian army Sweden before you decide to peace out it will be great from battles memel occupied random bullshit in short fuck me right what we need is to get get Lithuania out and we won that's what this comes down to. Uh, I would really like to actually siege this so that I can uh, get a much better deal with the Lithuanians. But Sweden is almost out of the war, so this needs to fall like fracking now. Because obviously... The Thank you, well done. What's my individual war score with you? 13. What do you want? Oh, no, 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 no. Will not betray their allies for gold. You fucking asshole. Take those two. That should be enough to uh, tip the balance. That or uh, failing that. The month ticking once or twice while the length of war ticks down further. Either way, it should be enough momentarily to... Uh, there we go. And our feeder in Lithuania. Our feeder in. We are done with you. Sweden's up to medium. Well, they're still at medium. But the rest are on high and everyone wants the Livonians to finish dying in a fire. At this point, I dare suggest that we might have just uh, won the war. Because we got the real threat out. We will not be able to do much about them, admittedly. But it doesn't fracking matter. It doesn't fracking matter. We've... We've beaten them back. On that account, we are not gonna lose this war, essentially. We've ensured that. And, um... Uh, yeah, it looks like we'll be able to take Riga and at least some land from our actual enemies here. Possibly a lot of land. Before we uh, make this a major issue though... <coughs> Sorry. Um, wow, my throat is really stretchy. We're gonna retake Memo, because that is driving up our war exhaustion and that is in turn driving for rebellion chance and I really don't need that shit right now. So we're gonna head over there and make that a thing. Uh, I can defeat the two of these little stains on my own. I don't need them to... Uh, I don't need my allies for this. I can make do without them. Which is excellent since I might not have my allies for much longer due to the way this war has been uh, going. Or the past two wars, in fact. Still. Still. The dangerous part is past. You are at war with who? Hopefully not me, right? Oh, you're fighting Scotland. Yeah, so you'll be slightly distracted and might not start any offensive wars against me. Excellent. That's blockaded, so this can be uh, swooped to some extent. Excellent. Ooh, Sweden coming in. Gonna bite off a piece. Excellent. Go for stack wipe, little Sweden. Keeping both Sweden and Muscovy as weak as possible is only to our benefit. Incidentally, here. The weaker we keep those two fuckers, the easier it is for us to dominate the region. They're doing geopolitics bullshit. We're trying to uh, play them off one against the other in order to um, make this go in our favor. Control Estonia. Shit. There goes our alliance with Sweden, I believe. In which case, we run Sweden into the ground this war, because after this, after I take Livonia for myself, we're gonna be enemies anyway. It can't be helped. Lithuania has no aggressive expansion with me. They have 15. They have 50. 50. 4. 
I should be able to vassalize them and take Riga, I think. If I take Riga first before sieging the rest of this... What the fuck is this crap? Defender against Pomerania in the Pomeranian conquest of Uckermark with Brandenburg. With fucking Brandenburg of all people. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're not gonna be even considering an assault here because that would be a bad idea. Novgorod is gonna stay in the war with us no matter what we do. There's a Riga army there, five regiments in fact. Holy shit, it barely, barely has the strength of three, not quite even, but it's five technically, so that's essentially their whole army, I take it. Don't get me wrong, I approve, I want them to die in fire. Are you at war with anyone else? No, just our guys. Oh, look at what this little fucker is doing. I'm gonna have to go over there and fix it momentarily. Hopefully... East Frisia doesn't decide to actually take them, because that would kind of suck for me. And, you know, obviously that would be a bad thing. But, if that's not the case, you'll be able to take them, after that take, uh, you know, the rest of the Livonian forts, and it should be all good. 97%. Just the right size for a vassalage agreement. Or not right conquest if that's what I decide to go with. I think vassalage might serve me better here. But it's actually kind of hard to judge. Since then my vassals might become large enough to demand, eventually demand independence. Sweden's still holding in the war somehow, and they are down to less than 10k troops at this point, all told. I like the way this war is going. I think this is a uh, damn, damn good news. And, uh, you know, looks great. Are you winning or losing? Losing technically, but you weaken my enemy and that's good enough for now. Yeah, about 10k troops left for them. Hungary is gonna take that out. Excellent. So this is going well in my favor. Yeah, this turned around relatively quickly. Strategic decisions and all that. I was really gonna give Lithuania some stuff if, what, if it got to the point where Sweden was, like, gonna peace out. Just to get them out of the war, because... I care about the Livonian Order more than I care about some piece of shit Newmark that I isn't even connected to the rest of my lands. In all honesty. I think we'll be spending Diplo points on this, honestly. Um, war exhaustion, how bad is it? It's bad because of this fracking bullshit. Apparently we're also blockaded somewhere. Where? Is it the place where actually... S oh, Scotland whooped Norway, huh? Shit, son. Well, that was unexpected. Okay, Sweden might want to try and peace out separately, which makes this uh, dangerous. This isn't really progressing for them, so... I'm certainly not gonna go and help them there. Okay. Take half. Splitsies, splitsies. Oh, never mind. Hungary is gonna do it for us. Never mind. It's okay. Hungary is taking that. Good. They should transfer it as soon as we take Memel. I think. Unless they decide to be dick. Yep. Well, they transferred it directly. I think they can do it if it's uh, a C adjacency as well. So that's good. 70%, shit. Reduce, reduce, keep it extra low, in fact, 
full stability as well, just so that it starts sticking down, and we will risk taking them as vassals, I think. We might decide to go after uh, Denmark, uh, because they don't have the lines with Muscovy anymore anyway. Alright, I have a truce, but still. Still, taking some more crap from them would be good. And all of them are fighting over this little piece of land here, these three provinces, Raval, Narva and Osal. And my uh, happy, happy allies are happily sieging shit for me. That is kind of excellent. In that case, let us ride and uh, ensure a certain amount of unpleasantness for enemies that are trapped and unable to escape. Riga apparently wants to be out of the war. Uh, and yeah, the Livonians apparently just pulled down their war exhaustion. That kind of sucks for them. Them, you know, having to do that, but oh well. Yeah, if my vessels get too strong, this will be a problem. If I took every last freaking piece of it, just how bad would it get on the orc extension? Muscovy, Tver, Telvon, and Northern Lithuania. So I need to do this in December, so that uh, it immediately ticks below 30, because if we... Well, we'll we're gonna have a truce with them anyway for a few years yet, so... Suppose it doesn't matter all that much, but uh, all the same, it. Uh, I wish I had the option of uh, just telling my allies that it's okay if they want to peace out. Hey, Hungary, take that, will you? No, just. No! Can I not go until. That is taken. Shit. Dude, fuck off, I'm not done with you. With these stupid events, incidentally, I don't think we're ever gonna get this mission error. There have to be better ones, so... I'm considering just eating them, incidentally. Just outright eating them. Okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send the mercenaries to sit on Riga and then whatever other troops I can... Uh, well, I kind of have to send everyone, don't I? Which I'd rather not do because it's a pain in the ass siege. But I need to get started on it, so... Um, I'm gonna put the leader in charge and send them first with the ships on to Riga. And after that, we're gonna send uh, these guys as well. Because I kind of need everyone on there right now. At the very least, I am taking Riga. That's like non negotiable. That's the truth with Muscovy. Shit, I don't want to be at war anymore. This is starting to get a bit dangerous. But the war with Denmark isn't. Uh, or rather, the uh, truce with Denmark hasn't worn off because we did a lot worse a peace deal with them than we did with Muscovy. And they're busy subjugating Kazan anyway. Okay, so that appears to be more or less okay. Good. Damn, it takes such a long time to uh, actually land anything. And you start marching across. Get our siege on. At least it's defensible territory. What is it, woods? Yes, it's woods. So yeah, that's uh, sort of kind of defensible. If my allies at this point wanted to peace out, obviously I would just let them, because... Really, there's uh, not much point in dragging this out, is there? Um, not much point in doing that with... Um, 
them. So why don't we improve with them and Bohemia? Because I do want to restore my lines with Bohemia. Because they are... They're useful. Okay, still not starting the siege. While taking the attrition, of course, and that's always fun. Let's, um... Yeah, let's get the troops on there and uh, get started on that. Okay, so much for their armed forces, they're about to be gone. England took Anjou. Yeah, France is dying and dying hard. The Papal State is expanding into France. Shit, that never happens. I mean, really. I mean, that's not just me. That never happens, right? Like, seriously, that is not a thing. Weird. Weird run with France uh, doing that. And Scotland invading Norway as well. It's uh, gonna be an interesting map this time around. So let's get started on this wonderful, wonderful siege. While our allies start to siege down the uh, main forts. Obviously I want to take Riga before... You know. Before we do that. But I'm gonna call it an episode here. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. So see you then.